Hi guys and welcome back to Hummingbird Acres. Today we are going to use all of the apple scraps from our previous video on applesauce to make some homemade apple cider vinegar. This does take a little bit of time and it is a little bit of a process, but I have some easy quick tips for you that will make every batch of apple cider vinegar you make a success. So let's jump right into the video and making apple cider vinegar. The first thing we are going to need to make our apple cider vinegar is we are gonna need some apple scraps. So if you remember in the video before this, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link before, leave a link below. But in the video before we made homemade applesauce and what we did is we saved all of the peels and the cores from that applesauce to make our apple cider vinegar. So what I did is I collected all of that in a bowl and then I took half gallon mason jars and in each half gallon mason jar I put, I filled it about halfway with our scraps and it actually filled a good amount of mason jars, which was kind of cool. Um, after that, I filled the mason jars with water, but while I did this, I measured, I like I kept a close eye on how much water I was putting into each jar because after each jar had so much water in it, then I added sugar and you want to add like one to two tablespoons of sugar per gallon that you put in to the jar. Once that you do that and you want to put cheesecloth or a coffee filter over the top, um, that is like you want to do that. We do it with a rubber band. Um, something else that we didn't do this time that I think we will do next time is I will put pickling pepper pebbles. I would call them peppers, pickling pebbles on top of the jar, like on top of the apple scraps to keep them submerged. That way they don't grow mold as easily. Um, I didn't have a huge problem with mold this time, but I could see where it could definitely get moldy, especially because we had some really warm days after I did this. So I'll leave a link below to those pickling pebbles um, if you wanna use them, but I definitely think we're gonna use them the next time. So once it's in your jar and you have your water and your sugar, and then you cover it with cheesecloth with a rubber band, and then you want to put it in a, um, you want to store the jar in a cool, dark place for about two to four weeks, making sure that you stir them like daily. Um, stirring is going to make sure, is going to help with that mold so the mold doesn't grow. For this batch, we did two weeks. Um, that, that was because we were traveling and I wasn't going to take all of them with us for our trip. So we let them sit for about two weeks. I stirred them as often as I could, daily, minimum. And then after two weeks had passed, I strained out all of the apple scraps and returned the liquid to the jar. At this point, I did have one jar that just kind of smelled funny and it smelled off. And instead of just like risking it, I was just like, eh, this whole one can get dumped. So I dumped that one in the woods for the animals. But you want to strain off all the apple scraps. Really think about how you're going to do this. A colander probably would have been best. I used a strainer this time. But it it's a lot of apple scraps and it's a lot of liquid. So really think about it. Think it out beforehand and know that you're probably going to make a mess. Um, from this point, I poured it back into our half gallon mason jars and I covered them. I actually just put mason jar lids, um, like the airtight mason jar lids on top of them and I put them in our basement. Um, and every time I go down there to get something off the shelf for dinner, I just kind of shake them up a little bit to stir them up. Um, after about two to four weeks, your vinegar should be ready. You want to open it up and smell it. If it smells like vinegar, you're great. If it has that tangy, acidic -y taste, you have apple cider vinegar, um, or you can leave it for longer. I think the first batch we did, we ended up leaving for about a year, and it actually smells amazing. It smells better than any store-bought apple cider vinegar that we have ever purchased. So that is how you make apple cider vinegar from scratch. If you want the written directions for this, it is on our website. I will leave a link below for you. But thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out with us at the farmhouse today, and we will see you guys next time. 